An elderly Boyle County woman is rushed to the hospital after police say she was found living in her home's bathroom with no heat. It's probably made me a stronger uh, person. In a WKYT exclusive, Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis talks about the experience of being in the national spotlight. Why did the principal of a Lexington High School suddenly leave the school for a new job in the middle of the year? WKYT investigates the principal transfer. This is WKYT News at 6. Good evening. The conditions inside were so bad, investigators say no one should have been inside there. But inside a Boyle County home, they say they found an elderly, malnourished woman living all alone. Now, investigators aren't sure who's going to care for her because they can't track down any family members. Phil Pendleton has our top story at 6. A welfare check at this home on Lebanon Road in Parksville led the Boyle County Sheriff to at first fear the worst from what he simply saw in her mailbox. Full of mail, the last mail that was the bottom of the pile was October. Yet a knock on her door brought the woman out, but soon Sheriff Marty Elliott knew she was in poor health. Then tells me that she's been living in her bathroom for three years. Sleeping in a chair and drinking only condensed milk and eating, well, she said only beans. She was wearing several layers of clothes. This was on Monday when morning temps were in the teens. The house was cold, there was no heat. She was extremely reclusive and would not come to her door. In fact, one man who lived nearby told me that in 14 years he only saw her one time. I'm also told that neighbors did try to help her, but many times, for whatever reason, she simply refused it. I've seen situations. Elliot made sure the woman was taken to the Danville Hospital, where two hours later they were ready to release her, but he stepped in and made sure she stayed. So I appear before Judge Dotson and sign an affidavit that, you know, it's my opinion that if I take her back to that house, I'm taking her back to her death. He's now asking a judge to step in and ask Adult Protective Services to assist. They cannot release her name. Elliot says her age is a bit of a mystery. We found a birth certificate that says she's 103, and she's saying she's 73. State health officials citing confidentiality say they cannot comment on cases like this. In Boyle County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The Boyle County Sheriff does say that a nearby senior citizen center has offered to help. New tonight, Lexington police are trying to figure out how a four-year-old boy ended up with a serious head injury. They were called to a home on Crosby Drive late this afternoon. Police say the boy's injury is suspicious. He was taken to the hospital, but his condition is not known. Right now, police are waiting on a search warrant so they can go inside that home. She ended up in the national spotlight when she refused to issue marriage licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage. Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis's life has changed dramatically in the last year. Today, in her first interview with local media, she talked exclusively with WKYT's Bill Bryant for a taping of Kentucky Newsmakers. Victor Puente has more. Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis says while her life has changed in the last few months. People come up and say, oh, Kim, can I have a picture with you or something? You know, I don't understand all that. Her stance on same-sex marriage hasn't. She says she has no regrets about how the events played out. For me, it, it was always about standing up for, for God's word, standing up for the definition of marriage. Davis spent five days in jail for disobeying a federal judge's order to issue those licenses. At the time, she asked Governor Steve Bashir to remove the names of county clerks from that paperwork, a request he denied. When Governor Matt Bevan took office, he used an executive order to make that change. Well, that is the exact accommodation that I had asked for, Bill. I asked for our governor to um, remove the clerk's name from the marriage license so that it would not be my signature, my name, and my authorization that would issue those licenses. She was in the news earlier this week when she was invited to the State of the Union address. During the interview taped for Kentucky Newsmakers, she said the experience has changed her, but not her beliefs. She also said she knows her stance could impact how others interact with her. Just a, a multitude of emotions because you're really not sure how people are going to receive you. But um, I always try to be nice and friendly to everybody and, and treat everybody with respect. And, and I think if I do that, then, you know, I, I will be greeted and treated the same way. In Lexington, Victor Puente, WKYT. 
And you can watch the full interview with Kim Davis on Kentucky Newsmakers this Sunday morning at 6 on WKYT and again at 10 on the CW Lexington. We now know the name of a man killed in a crash in Lexington this morning. The Fayette County Coroner's Office has identified him as 59-year-old Jimmy Jordan. The crash happened this morning on Lane Allen Road near Harrodsburg Road. Lexington police say a truck crossed the center line and hit a car head-on. Jordan was one of the drivers. In the coming months, Fayette County Schools will be hiring three new high school principals for Henry Clay, Bryan Station, and the new high school. The Henry Clay opening may be the most surprising because the former principal's departure came in the middle of the school year. But why did he decide to leave the school? Well, looking for answers, Miranda Combs filed some open records requests. She joins us with a WKYT investigation. Miranda? Amber, when Greg Quinnen stepped down as principal at Henry Clay High School, there was little said about why. All the media received was a note saying he was transferring to Winburn to be the curriculum and instruction coach for personal reasons. We've tried to interview the superintendent, school board, and Henry Clay site-based council. All refused to talk about Quinnen's transfer. But we were able to get email exchanges leading up to December and uncovered a site-based council that was misled by their leader. Right now, we're just in the preparation work. It was on the agenda, but it would be safe to say it was an unplanned conversation. Is it effective based on whenever this committee makes okay. a decision? Henry Clay High School's site based decision making council met this week. And I've kind of gone ahead and put a book together for you. The majority of the meeting was to start the process of selecting a new leader. Would a person apply specifically Henry Clay? Would they apply because there's Ryan Station. There are three high school principal building vacancies currently. The former one left quickly and with little said about why. But we've uncovered a lot. Hundreds of emails and documents building a paper trail to Greg Quinnen's transfer. It all started at the start of the 2014-2015 school year. Quinnen wanted a course called Awaken 101 offered at the high school for freshmen. The site-based council said sure, but it's not worthy of a credit. Quinnen admitted in an email to the council this past October that he awarded a credit to the class, even though he was told two times by the council not to. He said in the email, if I had the guts to reward the credit, then I better have the guts to step up and remove it in order to do the right thing. And then there were questions surrounding the way Quinnen hired Jonathan Smith to teach Awaken 101. Smith was a quick hire at the start of the 2015-2016 school year. Quinnen asked in September of last year, when are we posting this position and can we go ahead and have him on the books to be paid? Minutes from the October site-based council show confusion among members about who the teacher of record was for the class. Quinnen admitted in that meeting he had offered the job to Smith and was paying him out of a mature Church CD the school had called Fund 22. Later documents showed Fund 22 as having $92,000 in it. Quinnen sent an email to the council following that October meeting. He said, I was not truthful tonight and was completely scared to confess my wrongdoings and failure to serve as your leader. He said the funding source for Smith was intended to be from local businesses, but that never came about and had to use the Fund 22 monies because I felt obligated. He said, today I contacted HR for them to rescind the offer to him. A check of the fund found Smith was paid $1,300 from that account. The October 14th email ended with, personally, I do not know what consequences that I will receive at this time, but I do anticipate some. No correspondence was found involving Quinnen and Superintendent Manny Kalk until December 9th, when Quinnen wrote a three-page email to his boss that in part said, I am in disbelief of my actions, and somehow, somewhere, I lost myself along the way. My personal relationship with God, my wife, and family has suffered and taken a back seat through all of this because of my own personal pride and ego. I want you all to have access to every applicant. Quinnen submitted his request for transfer to Winburn Middle following this email. So if they all apply, then that seat would be remain vacant. 
And that fun 22 is a CD left by former principal Diane Woods. The Awaken 101 class was disbanded in October. Quinnen did not respond to my request for an interview, and we couldn't find contact information for Jonathan Smith, guys. Miranda, this is not the first time that Quinnen has made the news. You may recall summer of 2014, he was suspended for two days for allegedly having a beer while on a school trip. Hmm. All right. Yeah. See, see where it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Miranda. Let's turn to weather now. We're getting a break from the cold weather with some mild weather today. Really pretty nice out there for January, but of course it won't last very long. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has been telling us, look out, here it comes. Yeah, bottom's going to drop out again as we get into the weekend. Let's just enjoy what we have out there now, guys. And it is much, much warmer than what we were talking about at this same point yesterday. Look at the numbers compared to 6 o'clock yesterday. We're running roughly 20 degrees above this same point last night. It's 30 degrees warmer in the far northern Kentucky. And in this case, it does equate to actual warmer uh, weather. Fairly warm right now. 49 Lexington just now dropping below 50 here in Mount Sterling and Danville. Monticello down to 49 as well. Uh, ironically, the coolest spot far southeastern Kentucky. Middlesboro at 43 degrees. You're the warmest just yesterday. If you're out this evening, most thermometers stay 40 or better right in through 11 o'clock as clouds continue to increase. That mild southwesterly flow is ahead of a storm system that's rolling out of the Plain States, the Rockies with a cold front, moisture across the Gulf of Mexico. At least some of that will get into the bluegrass state. But as we look ahead, we've got rain that's going to follow up this mild day. That comes in tomorrow. Then it's all eyes on the weekend and an Arctic blast that will introduce bitterly cold temperatures for next week. Seven day forecast and a matter of minutes. Lexington firefighters are telling us a three year old boy saved his grandparents from a fire at their home. The fire started this afternoon on Glass Avenue near Winchester Road. The man who lives in the house says he and his wife were sleeping, but their grandson saw the fire and woke them up. Firefighters say the home did not have smoke detectors. The occupants aren't going to be able to stay here tonight, so they're going to have to find another place to stay, and there does have to have some a little bit of work done to the house. I'd say it's probably moderate damage for the for the, for the fire damage. The grandmother was taken to the hospital as a precaution. Firefighters aren't sure what caused the fire. A bill designed to protect children riding bicycles was introduced in the Kentucky House today. TJ's bill would require children under age 12 to wear a bike helmet while riding a bicycle on a public roadway or public bike path. The bill is named after 13 year old TJ Floyd, who suffered a life changing head injury five years ago in a bicycle crash. Hopefully our way to help another family with a child not have to go through what we've gone through and as they get older make the hard decisions from a decision that you wish you had made. Doctors from both the University of Louisville and the University of Kentucky helped introduce the bill today. 22 states already have bicycle helmet laws. First, her concert was postponed, but now we have learned Janet Jackson won't be performing at Rupp Arena at all. Find out why next. When winter is at its worst, that's when WKYT calls a first alert severe weather day. Continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. First alert severe weather days only on WKYT. It's the Super Saturday Set. Shop before 11 a.m. Saturday and get an early bird special 11 piece knife set free. Plus, save up to half off with up to $1,000 in cash rewards and zero interest for 72 months. Saturday, preview Friday. Nobody beats Home. Home is about comfort, and that is exactly what we create. When you partner with us, you team with experts, not only in the latest technologies, but uniquely skilled in turning know-how into wow. A home that starts when you are ready and lets you know what's happening. A home that works for you. Not just any home, your home. Get your free in-home consultation today. Bluegrass Home Entertainment. Are you ready to be wowed? When you play Kentucky Lottery games like Cash Ball, college students all over Kentucky cash in. Feeling imagination. Funding education. The candidate from Cartown Kia can give people $8,000 off new Kia Optimus. What can you offer? Well, we have yesterday's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimus in stock at Cartown Kia. Take home a new 2016 Kia Sorento SUV for only $189 per month. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. We can do credit. Yeah. We don't do credit. Don't debate it. Get to Cartown Kia.
Ciao. I'm Sam Dick, inviting WKYT TV viewers to join me on a tour to classic Italy, October 8th to the 16th. We'll cruise the timeless canals of Venice by gondola, tour the Renaissance works of art in Florence, and discover the world famous landmarks of Rome, including the renowned Colosseum and Trevi Fountain, plus a special visit to Vatican City. All airfare and great hotels included. For your free brochure, call Holiday Vacations at 1 800 826 2266. Lexington Overstock Warehouse. One warehouse. Four days. Over 35,000 square feet loaded with name brand home furnishings. Stylish Ashley sectional, only $5.97. Restonic Queen mattress set, just $2.48. Don't pay retail, it's our huge winter warehouse sale. LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com. Hey, are you coming to the 9 a.m.? I'm on the phone with the cable company. We at Time Warner Cable need to apologize to you. We no longer offer you an excuse to avoid that meeting. We're making a bunch of changes at Time Warner Cable. If you need to reach us, you don't even have to call. Now you can chat with a live agent on your computer or mobile device 24-7 from virtually anywhere. Or use the MyTWC app to schedule time for us to call you. So have a great meeting. Don't pay over $1,000 for this Whirlpool Cabrio High Efficiency Washer Dryer Pair at Lowe's when they're just $4.49 each at P-Rats. Get zero interest for 18 months on TVs and appliances. Hurry and get the deal of the decade. Nobody beats P-Rats. Up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. New tonight, Janet Jackson has set new dates for her postponed tour, but she won't be coming to Lexington. The singer was originally scheduled to perform at Rupp Arena on January 30th, but Jackson postponed the entire tour because of medical reasons. Now, Rupp Arena leaders say the concert here cannot be rescheduled because of technical upgrades being made to the arena this summer. They say they cannot schedule any events between June or until mid-October, except for the circus in September. If you have Janet Jackson concert tickets, you will receive, we're told, a refund. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. A windy and a mild day that is wrapping up across the bluegrass state. Those temperatures this afternoon deep into the 50s. We'll take it considering where we've been and where we are going over the next several days. Look outside. Numbers are starting to drop back into the 40s now. 49 Lexington, Mount Sterling at 48. Likewise for the good folks into Danville. That southwesterly wind, though, will keep temperatures from really dropping tonight, and especially as we get a little bit of cloud cover that is coming on in. You want to find some 30s? you got to go into parts of the Great Lakes, which is above normal there. 65 degrees late this evening into the St. Louis area. Tomorrow we got one more 50 degree day in the tank, I think, before the rains get into town. It's not going to rain all day, but take the umbrella. Farther east you go, the smaller the threat for rain. And by tomorrow evening, those numbers are going to drop quickly from west to east. So showers coming in for Friday. Arctic blast is on the way to follow that up late this weekend with even colder air compared to what we've seen over the past few days coming up into Monday and Tuesday. Quiet Defender Network. Clouds increasing. Moisture here. Cold front here. Those two are going to get together to at least throw some moisture our way in terms of showers for the day on Friday. Let's get you into that Friday. Brand new hour by hour forecast with updated temperatures that will be hard pressed to drop below 40 degrees tonight. Yes, the model says some mid and upper 30s. I think we're going to say 40 or better with a little cloud cover and some showers that will increase as we go through the day tomorrow. One of those days tomorrow where the farther east you are, you may have some breaks in the clouds early on, so your temperatures may be a little warmer. Then look what happens tomorrow evening. Numbers drop by 10 o'clock west of 75. 30s are showing up. Upper 20s to low 30s Saturday morning. We'll just kind of hang around the low 30s for most of Saturday. Overcast conditions with a little bit of light snow and some snow flurries that will be dancing about the air. Not a big, big deal. Fast forward into the day on Sunday. Winds are going to gust up ahead of an Arctic front that slams in here middle of the night on Sunday, maybe into the evening hours. It may have a decent little band of some snow and gusty winds with it. And behind that, the temperatures are really going to tank as we go into the first couple of days of next week. 
The snow potential this weekend is not huge at all. Light snow, flurries for the day on Saturday, low 30s. Arctic front, if you are to get a little snow on the ground this weekend, our best chance will be right along that boundary that zips its way through here. May have some gusty snow squalls with it that can put down some light accumulations, cause some travel issues. Winds will gust up too. Then the bitter cold stuff waits until Monday morning to get into town. If we can completely clear the skies, depending on the timing of that Arctic front, if it scoots through here quickly enough, takes the clouds with it by Monday morning. We are close to zero in some areas, and we may try to do that again on Tuesday morning. Single digits are a good bet during that time, as low as zero. One more 50 tomorrow. Yay! It's going to come with rain. And then the bottom drops out tomorrow night behind that front. Low 30s, upper 20s, upper teens over the next several days. You don't mince words. Arctic, <laughs> cold. Yeah. What, what else do you say? Brutal, frigid. Yeah. Well, throw anything else out there you want. There may be some words people are saying that we can't say <laughs> yeah. when that cold is into town, huh? I understand. Thank you. Coach Cal continues to look for consistency from Alex Poitras. Well, he does. Alex talks about his play and being asked about it. And the Georgetown Tigers have had some good teams, but they are off to their best start in years. Can they keep it going? Sports is next. WKYT First Alert Weather is brought to you by Lexington Athletic Club. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthTalks.com to view a video of cardiologist Michael Rukavina on a new leadless pacemaker technology. Baptist Health Lexington, be a healthier you. The Highline Globetrotters! For 90 years, we've been turning moments like this into unforgettable memories like that. Coming to Rub Arena this Saturday at 7. Great seats at the Arena Box Office or Ticketmaster.com. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth. Putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. Chimney fires cause millions of dollars in property damage every year. We keep your fire in its place. Call Barnhill Chimney Company today. Globetrotters, you have nothing on me. Maybe a little bit. Come watch WKYT's Micah Harris take on the Harlem Globetrotters this Saturday. 981 The Bull and Hardy's presents the Red, White, and Boom Music Festival 2016. Starring Jason Aldean, Eric Church, Florida Georgia Line, Thomas Red, Cole Swindell, Casey Musgraves, and many more. Powered by the Lexington Clinic. Labor Day weekend, September 2nd through the 4th at the Whitaker Bank Ballpark, Lexington. Tickets on sale tomorrow. Red, White, and Boom.com. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield wants to know, what's your health insurance IQ? True or false, a lot of people qualify for financial help to lower the cost of their health insurance. False? Actually, millions of people have qualified for financial help on their health insurance through the Affordable Care Act. A family of four making about $95,000 a year or less may qualify. You are required by law to have health coverage. True. Yep. Most people were required to have health coverage starting in 2014. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help protect your family's health with one easy call. Did you know all their plans cover doctor visits, prescription drugs, hospital stays, and more? Yes, with zero dollar preventive care. The deadline to enroll is earlier this year, so don't wait. Call now for free expert guidance and our free quote. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Call us at 1-800-769-7581 for a free quote. That's 1-800-769-7581. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. The inconsistent play of Alex Poitras, one of the most puzzling things about this Kentucky basketball team so far. Poitras had only one basket Tuesday on this lob from Tyler Ulis. He had some big foul shots in the final minute, but beyond that, the game was a struggle. And you would have to think that he's getting tired of being asked about it.
as opposed to I mean, to yeah, because I give the same answers. And I get asked the same <laughs> questions, you know, but, I mean, it's, it's fine by me. I'll give the same answers. How did you feel after the game Tuesday night? Frustrated at all? Angry um, or just empty or how? Um, I'm not really sure. You know, I felt like I could have played better. Could have felt like I did a lot more different things out there, you know, but, I mean, we came out there with a W. I mean, that's all we can ask for. You know, you got to enjoy the wins when you can get them. The Cats travel to Auburn Saturday. It'll be on ESPN at 4 o'clock. When the UK women host number two South Carolina tonight, the Cats will again need a big effort from freshman guard Macy Morris. Playing with a heavy heart last week following the death of her grandfather, Morris was still able to continue her hot shooting from beyond the arc. On the season, she's averaging nearly 10 points a game and is Kentucky's best three point shooter. Grandfather passes and she doesn't, she's not able to practice as much as she would have in a normal week, but mentally, she gets herself in the Alabama game and figures out some way to, uh, you know, find her way and make a contribution. She was ready to catch and shoot on those three-pointers at Georgia, made a big contribution. Well, it is no surprise Georgetown College is ranked number two in NAI basketball, but the Tigers are enjoying their best regular season yet under Chris Briggs. Brian Milam has more on the Tigers. Through 16 games, the Tigers are off to its best start since Chris Briggs' first year in 2012. The G-Men are 15-1, and one, but this team seems different than others who have started to waver a little at the midway point. Oh, the chemistry's good. Like, uh, there's been teams in the past that we have problems around this time. I feel like we all just now starting to click, so it can only take us forward. But the talent is there. Um, you know, we have to make sure that the toughness is there and the execution is there and the, uh, you know, all the mental things that go into it. One factor which is better with this group of Tigers is a deeper bench, which draws a unique comparison. It's not even just a starting five. Like, we got a second, whole another second five like Kentucky last year. It's like a platoon. We know we got another five ready to come in, and that makes us, it gives us confidence to go in there and play hard. There's no question what the strength is of this Tigers team. It's offense. Georgetown has scored 100 or more points 10 times and at least 85 points in every game but one. We can go in transition. We need to. We can slow it down and pound it. We got shooters. Just offensively is our biggest key. And if we get defensively, if we pick that up, I think it'd be hard for us to be stopped. A great, you know, shot at having a great season. You know, finishing out the season strong. And, uh, you know, we just make sure we're on top of that because this conference is, is, like I said, always one of the toughest in the country. In Georgetown with the Tigers, I'm Brian Milam, WKYT. Thank you, Brian. The Tigers in action tonight against Cumberland University. Of course, the U.K. women's game will have a lot of highlights right here at 11. Sam Amber, back to you. Thanks, Rob. Final check of your first alert forecast is next. Then on the CBS Evening News, what's the cost of falling oil prices on the economy? A business analyst weighs in. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Rewind 105.5. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth, putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth, putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. I've heard the horror stories about other people's experiences with attorneys. And to prevent other people from having those experiences, I would go to Becker because you're not going to experience a horror story with Becker. They don't worry about what they get. They worry about what you get. It's that simple. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. 
Come to the 21st Annual Toyota Classic, January 20th through the 23rd at Scott County High School. Tickets are $6 at the door. Go to toyotaclassic.com for more details. WKYT investigates because we stand for Kentucky. Miranda Combs, WKYT. It means digging deeper to make sure the Kentucky way of life is protected. You think you're deceiving your people that voted for you by not getting your training? I'm WKYT's Miranda Combs and I stand for Kentucky. Home. Home is about comfort and that is exactly what we create. When you partner with us, you team with experts, not only in the latest technologies, but uniquely skilled in turning know-how into wow. A home that starts when you are ready and lets you know what's happening. A home that works for you. Not just any home, your home. Get your free in-home consultation today. Bluegrass Home Entertainment. Are you ready to be wowed? The candidate from Cartown Kia can give people $8,000 off new Kia Optimus. What can you offer? Well, we have... Yesterday's coffee. <laughs> There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimus in stock at Car Town Kia. Take home a new 2016 Kia Sorento SUV for only $189 per month. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. We can do credit. We don't do credit. Don't debate it. Get to Car Town Kia. Beautiful shot of downtown mm -hmm. there tonight and a good night to be out. It really is. Temperatures just now going below 50 okay. degrees. That's when you know it's a good day mm -hmm. out there. Uh, around 50 tomorrow comes with the price, so a little bit of rain into the afternoon. A few snowflakes on Saturday. Arctic air arrives back into town. A little second half of Sunday into early next week. Oh, that Monday. Just won't look, just won't go that far. Monday may end up being the coldest we have this week. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here at 11.